I'm Racer Magazine's Marshall Pruitt. Let's take a look inside IMSA's fascinating new hybrid GTP cars. The next episode in our GTP 101 tech video series features IMSA's energy storage system, referred to as the ESS. It's a spec kinetic energy recovery system supplied by Williams Advanced Engineering, which recently changed its name to WAE Technologies and is comprised of three main components. The lithium ion battery, which is the largest part of the ESS package, the inverter, which sits atop the battery in its black casing, and the DC to DC converter in its bare aluminum case. Of the three duties performed by the ESS, the big lithium ion battery is designed to receive and hold 700 volts of electricity generated and sent forward from the motor generator unit, the MGU, which is connected to the transmission. When asked, the inverter, which acts like the brain of the ESS, takes those stored volts and returns them to the MGU, which, in turn, applies that electric horsepower back to the rear wheels and helps each hybrid engine solution from Acura, BMW, Cadillac, and Porsche to make a combined 670 hybrid horsepower. The DC to DC converter works directly with the battery and turns that 700 volts into something more familiar, around 12 volts, provides electricity to each chassis to power all the standard functions, everything from the headlights to the dash to all the control boxes throughout the cars. Managing battery heat is important. So the ESS has its own cooling system. Its circulation system is filled with dielectric coolant, which is a special fluid used to cool electronics. It's non-conductive and won't break down in high heat. Just like installing a new radiator, the battery's cooling system needs to be purged of air to ensure the lines and galleys have nothing but that dielectric coolant fluid running throughout the loop. Filled with coolant and ready for installation, the battery weighs approximately 77 pounds. With the inverter and the DC to DC converter affixed atop the battery, the entire package comes in at around 100 pounds. Mounted to a thick carbon fiber panel, the ESS is designed to slide up into an enclosed housing within the passenger side of each GTP cockpit. Due to its weight, teams use small lists to raise the ESS into the car. And once it's flush with the bottom of the tub, 22 bolts are installed to ensure it doesn't move. Those coolant hoses, which circulate through small dedicated radiators for the battery, and the various electrical connectors, including the big orange power cable that connects to the MGU and transfers power to and from the rear wheels, are joined to finish the installation job. Once that ESS is in place, teams install the floor, which is split into left and right pieces to make it easier to only remove or reattach one side. Then the car can be lowered to the ground and ready to hit the track. Next, a full warming process is completed before the ESS is used, where the unit is brought up to approximately 50 degrees C, or 122 degrees Fahrenheit. And once a GTP car is out and lapping, battery's operating temperature is meant to be kept at or under 70 C, or 158 degrees Fahrenheit. And with a giant ESS battery carried in each car, IMSA decided there was no need for the internal combustion engines to have alternators. So the ESS is in charge of powering everything in each GTP model. That also means that if an electrical supply issue arises during the race, a quick alternator swap isn't possible because they don't exist on the cars. So what kind of time loss would come with the change of the ESS package? In an informal poll across the GTP manufacturers, one thought they could do a fast swap in 30 minutes which seems optimistic. Another estimated it would take them 45 minutes and one hour was actually the most common answer I received. How's this? The more likely answer is 45 minutes to an hour once the car is rolled into the garage. So that's somewhere in the region of 30 laps or so at a minimum that would be lost. Simply put, unless every GTP car needs to do an in-race battery swap, this isn't the kind of misfortune a team wants to suffer. So for now, We'll close on one final item of interest with the ESS. According to a couple of GTP manufacturers, each ESS system costs approximately $220,000. And each car has at least one spare, if not two. I'll do separate videos on safety measures taken with that 700 volt battery and ESS system, charging of the systems, the transmission and MGU package, and how the ESS gets used in competition 
or things like state of charge and other key strategies factor into how the hybrid GTP cars use electrification to boost mileage and performance. Thanks for watching and visit racer.com for more videos and stories about IMSA's exciting new hybrid GTP cars.